Looks like we'll begin some information about PvE experiences when it comes to Halo Infinite. Because community manager Unishek recently hit up Twitter saying, what's one aspect current or future of Halo Infinite you would like to learn more about? The reason why he posts up on Twitter because he's kind of fishing for some topics to talk about in a future blog. After reading a lot of the responses on Twitter and on Reddit, the community feedback is kind of unanimous. So if you guys like these news and informational videos, make sure you tap that like button as it is the best way to help out the video and channel within the all famous YouTube algorithm. And if you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo, make sure you tap subscribe. And let's get right into those details. My personal response was narrative events and how they'll tie in the gameplay. Because from what we covered in our previous video, it looks like 3 for 3 is all hands on deck to try to get this live service multiplayer up and running. And that's specifically what they talked about with that September dev update. And from what Data Myers has seen and leaks and rumors that I've read about from credible leakers that it seems like these narrative events are going to be the main way to push Halo Infinite's story forward. Which is kind of concerning because Season 2 narrative events was very loosely a narrative event. So I should say the first half of the narrative event was pretty good, pretty straightforward, gave you context of the reason why I played the new game mode. But the second half, that was not, well, wasn't even a narrative event. And 343 seems really focused on these external characters that are really just tied to just the multiplayer when they were introduced. Are we going to see Chief? Are we going to see the pilot? Maybe the weapon? Mint Blitz had a great one of just progression. As the head of the live service, Sean Barron right here, did touch on it saying that we're going to talk about putting it in within the next season or so. And if there are any early concepts or any images, hopefully it's not just a number like it was in Halo 5. Something like a career rank is going to be absolutely crucial for Halo if it's longevity where it gives you something to grind for when there's nothing else to grind for. Now I do agree with him, I'd like to see a nice little shiny badge to kind of showcase what kind of rank you are rather than just a number. As having an actual image is much more rememberable than just like a static number. And info on this could be very likely in the upcoming blog. Late Night Gaming mentioned a dedicated PvE experience like Firefight or Spartan Ops. This is where you'll start seeing the trend of the thread that we saw guys that like going to be a big emphasis on PvE experiences. And the only thing we have right now for PvE is campaign, which which it's really good, but you know, you can play it once, twice, maybe three times. After that, it gets a little repetitive. And ever since Halo 3 ODST, we've had a dedicated PvE mode, mainly Firefight. But personally, I would like to see either an expansion of Firefight or something new about it. If it's just straight up Firefight, I honestly wouldn't care too much about it. I feel like it'd be kind of boring. Winner of Best Forger of the Year from the Halo Awards I hosted, guys, said that is the mainline Halo story no longer a focus through a traditional campaign, but instead being shifted to be told through multiplayer seasons. That's kind of the leaks and rumors I've heard, like we talked about earlier, but we'll see if like Chief and the pilot and the weapon are involved with this whole thing, or if the if 3 for 3 is going to be continue on with the story narrative of the Spartans that they introduced with Season 2. UK23 asked about PvE and Firefight, Halo VFX, talks about more information about the story when it comes to Halo Infinite. Hopping over to Reddit, you see the top rated comments says, are there going to be any story based DLCs? I'd absolutely love that. Is Firefight ever going to return? PVE please! LOL. Then our user says, story please, there is so much unanswered from the campaign. Multiplayer, PVE, Firefight, Spartan Arps, or whatever. I think you're starting to notice a little bit of a trend here that a lot of people and the majority of the questions were tied to PVE experiences and also campaign storytelling which I think are kind of intertwined together. That's why after reading all these comments I would have to think that they have some form of information coming for us guys when it comes to the upcoming blog and have to say something about their plan for the story, plans for PvE experiences or something. Because we know their plan when it comes to the multiplayer. They've been very straightforward about that, very open and we got a lot of information about it but ever since the launch of the campaign it's been pretty much dead silent, especially since we heard so many rumors about like Halo the Endless. We had those rumors a few months ago talking about Halo Infinite switching to a different engine because of looking at branch out with different games and wondering if Slip Space would be a good engine for that game. So I wouldn't expect a whole lot of official information about this campaign information because it's so far out. I'd say the earliest we could possibly see any kind of form of a campaign expansion or a new game, if even that, would be late 2024, probably the fall, probably more like 2025, but we're talking a whole new game. Definitely not happening in 2023, I can guarantee you that much. And so that's what brought up my question earlier, that if they're not going to really be putting any kind of campaign DLC or expansions in this year or the upcoming year, these never events are going to be the only way we're going to get some in-game storytelling when it comes to Halo. So what are their plans to kind of flesh these out a bit more 
and also have him integrate better when it comes to the multiplayer experience. Because the second half of that narrow event for Season 2 just wasn't it, Chief. The only thing we know of right now when it comes to a PvE type of mode would be Extraction, which is supposed to be kind of like having these spore mounds, you have an objective, you take it to one spot, you defend it, you have AI come after you while you're trying to do that with a team of four in defense, but it's Apparently, it's supposed to be all done on pre-existing multiplayer maps. I've seen some gameplay when it comes to 4v4 maps, which may be kind of a little boring there. Uh, they are also saying there might be on BTB maps, which might kind of mention the scale of what they're looking to do with this mode. But again, this is all leaks and rumors, so we could maybe hear some official form of extraction in Halo Infinite. It's scheduled to come in Season 4 according to all the metadata leaks, but we'll just kind of have to wait and see about some official information about that mode.